Good morning, everyone. We got another job this morning, a little plumbing job. So I'm going to take you along and let's see what we can find. The uh, issue on my paper says leak under kitchen sink. So let's go check it out. Come on. Okay, get us some tools. Let's see, we got a pan. Get us our handy dandy kneeling pad. And a bucket. We got a light. We got some screwdrivers. All right. A little shaky this morning, but we're going to make it. Let's see. Here we go. All right. Let's go over here and get in. We got us a little keypad. Let's see here. And we're in. Beautiful morning this morning. Out here in the uh, islands of Beaufort. Let's see what we can do. We got us a nice little uh, elevator. So we're gonna go on up to the third floor. Cool. new elevators are nice they have this invisible gate here um, infrared whatever it is so there's no gate very cool all right I think this is our floor okay very good and we're here get all my goodies And we're in. Whoo, look at the view. We're out here over the marsh. Look at this view. Come on now. Who wouldn't want to live out here and watch this every morning from your dining room? Look at this. A 180 view. Beautiful. It's a very nice house. I don't know that I want my kitchen on the third floor though, off the ground. Okay, kitchen sink, here we go. Handy dandy kneeling pad. Let's see what we got here. So first order of business, we're gonna get us our little light. And let's see what we have. All right, so. Nobody's here at the house right now, so nothing's been run lately. Let's see, let's check, check the trap. Let's see if these are tight. Yeah, those are, those are pretty tight. That's, that all seems pretty tight. I don't see any visible signs of leakage or corrosion or anything up here. We might snug it up with the pliers. Just make sure. Just kind of look over everything. Look over the dishwasher hose. There's the disposal. Uh-oh. We got something up here. What we got? Got a little bit of corrosion. Got some leakage. Oh, look at the bolt. Oh my goodness. I want you to look. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? Just look at that. The bolt is loose. Someone didn't tighten up this flange enough. Hmm. Okay, well, I think we probably have the problem. Uh, we'll go ahead and run some water in this side and kind of see what we got. Pulls out. That nut's tight. A lot of times these will leak here. They're not tightened up enough. Any signs of leakage? around the handle. Handle's tight, so that's good. I'm not gonna run water in here because I'm gonna pull this disposal off. Okay, let's see what we got. We'll get up under here and 
pull it out, see what we can get into. Okay. I'm gonna set it up right here. Should be able to see. There we go. Not too bad. All right, we're gonna unplug this guy. We'll get him unplugged. Sorry about the shaky. Okay, let's take the dishwasher hose off. Probably have a little water in it, so we'll dump it in the pan. Yep, got a little water. We'll get that water out. It's like that. Okay, and we'll kind of get this up out the way. There we go. Okay, now. Go ahead and take this flange off. Oh, look at that move. The whole thing moved. Okay. I'm going to take it off here. Got this nut. There we go. I got my elbow braced down here and then support it under the unit. Makes it easy, and then we'll flip that off and pull it out. Easy as pie. I got a little bit of water, we'll let that drain. All right, we'll set that guy here. A couple paper towels, we'll wipe this cord up. All right. Now, of course, once I get under here, um, we get this all put back together, then we'll run the water and see if there's anything else going on. But for right now, we know we have this leak. Okay. Set the disposer out here, out the way. All right. Got some nice uh, heavy duty flat screwdriver. Go ahead and loosen these, which are almost all the way loose. What happens is you put these in and guys will tighten them up, but they won't crank them down. You got to get tension on these or they'll loosen up. And the disposal vibrates and then you've got a problem. This house is probably only two years old, if that. That's my guess. So we got that loosened up. We can push it up. Got the clip ring on the disposal, pop that out, this will all come off, let's see, we'll zoom in a little bit here, guys, I'll try to get it to where you can see, it's a little hard, I'm just using my phone, all right, so this part, yes, yeah, so look at all the rust on that, that thing's been leaking like a sieve, or at least seeping constantly. Maybe not leaking like a sieve. I didn't see a lot of damage in the cabinet floor. So we'll clean that up a little bit. Wipe it down. And we'll set that aside. Set all this aside here. And then we'll pop this out. I'm going to reuse this, so it's going to kind of clean it up a little bit. Get all the old putty off. Get the old putty knife out. We'll clean it up. All right. That's good. We'll want to reuse that. There is the flange. We got it pulled out. So we'll go ahead and clean that up. Get the old. Uh, you can see where the water's got in there. It just simply wasn't tightened up enough. There should have been very little putty in there. They didn't didn't tighten it down. It didn't squeeze it all out, and thus it loosened up. You get some hot water in there, and that putty gets pretty soft. All right, so we'll just kind of scrape this up a little bit. Clean that all off. Now 
I want to make sure this is nice and clean because our new putty is going to have to seal to that. Got me a little Clorox wipe here. So we'll clean that off really well. And our sealing surface looks pretty good. All right. Scrape that down. Clean that all off real good. Let's see. Get in here and scrape this. Let's see, yeah. All right. And we'll wipe that down. All right, now we'll go up top and we'll do the same thing here. Clean this up. I like using the I like using the Clorox wipes because um, whatever's in there it cuts grease, so you want to get all that grease and nasty off whatever might have been in there. This one's not too bad because it's fairly new. All right, we're nice and cleaned up. Now, we're gonna get our putty and uh, make us a little bead. So we'll do that. Bear with me. All right. Get us a little ball, roll it up, make us a little bead here. We got a stainless steel sink, so we don't need a big bead. So I'm just gonna do, you know, fairly small. Fairly small, you see the size of my finger. It's not gonna use a ton of it. Just kind of roll it out. Get it all fairly uniform. And we'll take and we'll lay it on that flange. So you can see it. Take and lay it on the flange, bring it on around, and we'll kind of go around and squish it in. There we go. Now let's go up top and put it in here. I want to line up the words, just make it look good. It looks pretty good. All right. Okay, so here's the tricky part. We got this part up here. See, we've already got putty pushing through. So we got plenty of putty on that. I could have used less since it's stainless. I will set our gasket aside, wait on that. So what I like to do is um, stack this, make a stack, just the way it goes all together. So there's a clip on this. This is a split ring that holds this disposal, all this hardware in. So what I'm gonna do is put that towards the back where my fingertips are. Get that in one hand, just like that. Let me set this up here. And I'm gonna take my other hand, my left hand, I right-handed, so I'll take my left hand and I'll just come up here and I'll hold the flange down with this hand. And then um, with my right hand, I will take all this and drop it in my left, right hand, just like that. And we'll slide it up on here. Wait a minute, let me zoom in. It's a little hard to do on your phone. Bear with me, guys. There we go, that's a little better, okay. So I'm holding it out with my left hand, sliding it up on. Got it kind of in my palm. Let me see if I can mess up since I'm on camera. All right. That's how it usually goes. Split toward my fingertips, stack it on my hand, get it up on there. And then I'm going to take my fingertips and I'm going to push the ring back here with my fingertips where that split is. It's at the back. 
that's going to be the easiest side to start is the split side of that ring. I'm going to hold it up with my palm, start the split side of the ring and work it around with my fingers. And it's in. Go ahead and tighten the set screws by hand. When you tighten this, you want to get it even. Just kind of snug it up evenly. You want all the screws to be roughly the same when you start cranking it down. There we go. Okay, let's crank this guy down. Just go around and we'll do a couple revolutions on each one. Just keep working it around. Keeping them all about the same length, about the same amount sticking out. What we're going to do is we're going to come over here and since this is stainless sink on almost all of your disposal flanges, you want to pretty much bottom these screws out. Let's see if I can do this. Just work it around. A little hard to do with one hand. Keep working them. You really want to torque it down. Like I said, since it's a stainless steel sink, very thin, these screws are going to be almost all the way bottomed out. Maybe just shy of bottomed out. Oh boy. Let's set y'all back over here. There we go. All right, let's finish this out. I pretty much screwed it in all the way. That'll get us some real nice tension on it and it should never loosen up. So we'll take our screwdriver. That's the way I like to do it. You can just take it and run it along the edge of that flange and you'll cut the putty off because otherwise it kind of smears. Run it around there, cut the putty, just lift it right off. Clean it up. There we go. Now, we'll get this disposal set back in. So, what I like to do is come over here and we'll wipe out the surfaces. Make sure we don't get gunk on the ceiling surfaces. We don't really want that. Okay, good there. This looks good, make sure that's all on. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get my left hand under here, put my elbow on the bottom of the cabinet and hold up the bottom of the unit. All right, now, I'm gonna go ahead and slip the end of the drain in the T. I'm just supporting it with my left hand. And we'll get it up here, kind of float it right there. 
Then we'll get that lock ring. We'll just kind of start that lock ring with this hand. And then we'll make sure it's started. It's, it's on all three prongs. All three prongs are on. It's kind of a trick. You got to learn how to float it up in there. Um, especially on these heavy ones. It gets a little uh, tiring if you don't get it right the first time. And then you're sweating. Okay. Okay. Channel locks. Now this guy, let me show you this. On this lock ring, you want to actually tighten it to it clips, clicks. Otherwise, it will loosen. So we're gonna bring it all the way up. Just the pliers. See if you can hear the click. Adjust my pliers again. Oh, right on this one. Yeah, you can't really hear it. You'll more feel it than hear it. But it's all the way tightened up. You'll feel it do a little bit of a, a little pop where it comes over the locking ring. So that can't loosen back up. <laughs> All right, we got our drain. It's in our T, like that. Line it up, make sure it's square. Slide our trap nut in here. And I just saw a drip. I think I saw a drip from up there. So we may have a leak on this too, guys. Anyway, we know we got one of them fixed. I'll get this out. Make sure it's not wrapped up in. Make sure it's not wrapped up in that. Somebody pulls this up. Slide that back on. And I'm actually going to turn this over. It'll be easier to tighten this way. that on top it'll be easier okay we'll get a little nut driver these are usually 5 16 so this one's a quarter make sure it's on all the way nice and square tighten it up it's kind of snug not too crazy Tight. Okay. Now we all we gotta do is plug her back in. And this is an evolution series, so we have the gasket. This actually gets installed, the little baffle it gets installed from up top. There's a little ridge down in here and it pops into that groove. So we'll just kind of push it down in there down and you'll feel it pop on that groove. Let's see. I'll get down in there. Oh. You in? Yeah, there we go. It's not a real tight fit for some reason. This gasket is a little bit uh They usually work better when they're greasy. <laughs> oh boy, it's a little sticky. Oh, this one's giving me a time. Good grief. You know what? 
I knew that was going down too far. I think they had it stuffed in too far before. That's why it's so loose. That's actually where it sits. Right there, let's see, it's, it's kind of loose. I think they had it pushed down in there. It didn't feel right, but that's where it goes. Okay, let's run us some water. See what we got under here. Make sure we inspect everything, no drips. All the way out. Before we're done, before we're done, we want to run this thing and uh, fill up the sink. Fill up the sink here. Go ahead and run the disposal. Sweating already. All right, pop it out, turn the disposal on, get a little force behind it. That way, if it's gonna leak, it should leak now. All right, looking good there. Second thing we wanna do, since we messed with the hose on the dishwasher, we'll wanna go ahead and run it. See if I can figure this out. Power. Let's see, we'll just do rinse. And I think that will not start. Okay. Let's see. Is it going to work? Anyway, we'll let that do its thing. Well, that pretty much takes care of that. We've uh, found our leak, fixed it. I'm going to check the uh, basket over here. Um, but anyway, that's how you find a leak and look for it and fix it, mounted disposal. So hope that helps. All right, see ya.